Hello everyone, welcome back to Enter the Dream. My name is Liam, and sorry, I'm sticking with the theme, going with a lot more local stuff recently. This is bands around my local area. Some of them I've talked about on the channel before, some of them I've even worked with, uh, and I pretty much know at least someone from each of these bands in some way. And of course, I'll leave links to all of them down in the description, so if you'd like to check them out, you can do. If you do end up enjoying the video, please leave a like, it goes a long way, and leave a comment down below with any suggestions you would like to see in a future video. So let's get started. Um, we have got, I'll name them all first, Blossoms, probably the most famous band from Stockport. They've made it pretty big. Then we've got Destroy Planets, I've worked with Tanya before on the channel. Uh, Cosmonauts, I've talked about them quite a lot. I've worked with Dean, um, he's the drummer for them, but he plays every instrument. Then we've got Lewis James, who is a, a solo artist, again from Stockport, he went to my primary school and high school. Then we have Matter of Mind, who um, I know the bassist from this band. He was another guy from uh, the Taekwondo club, believe it or not. And then finally, Primordial Swarm, who I know one of the guitarists, I think, from. Uh, and weirdly enough, I just met him on a train and randomly started talking to him. But yeah, he's a really nice guy. So we have got a few different genres here. We've got indie, we've got some metal bands, and some, I wouldn't say pop, but definitely more towards that style bands as well. So it's probably safest to start with the ones that I've already talked about on the channel. We'll start with Cosmonauts, because I've known Dean um, not the longest out of all these, but I know him pretty well. When it comes to music, he's got a pretty eclectic taste. He's been in lots of different metal bands, but they don't really seem to go as far as indie bands do, and he's a big fan of indie. And because he's such a good metal musician, he makes the indie a lot better than I would normally consider indie to be. But as for Cosmonauts as a whole, um, they're okay. They've got some pretty catchy songs. Uh, my favorite is definitely Stay. I'll leave a link to that one in the description for them. Um, but I'm not really a fan of the vocals too much. It's very Manchester, uh, which isn't bad. You know, that's what indie bands normally do. They have like more regional accents normally. But yeah, it's just, it's just not my kind of thing personally. But they are pretty good. So I'm going to give them center of the road A. I noticed the list doesn't go any lower than B, because I don't think any of these belong lower than that. Next, we'll go with Primordial Swarm. Metal band, really, really heavy. I think they're slam or something. There's too many subgenres of metal to know. Um, but yeah, pretty brutal stuff. Heavy guitars, heavy um, vocals, well, screaming vocals. And yeah, just all out craziness. There aren't, I don't even know if they have a YouTube channel, but I know there's videos of them on YouTube. So I will leave a link to one of those, one of their live shows. Like I say, I know the guitarist Ryan. Uh, he's he's a really nice guy. You wouldn't think metal, especially when I first met him, he was holding an acoustic guitar with multicolored strings. So yeah, looks can be deceiving. However, again, not my kind of thing. Way too heavy. Um, but yeah, they're, they're pretty fun and good for them. You know, they can do what they want. But I would prefer to listen to Cosmos over them. So they're going to go in B tier. Next, we'll go with the famous one, Blossoms. Um, I'm not sure what these guys are. These are kind of indie, but I'd say they're more leaning towards the pop side of things. The guys in this band are probably the ones I know the least out of everyone. Um, they were the year below me in high school, so I don't really know them too well. But they've made it pretty big, so obviously they must be doing something right. But it's just not right for me. Again, it's just a bit too pop. I, I'm not as eclectic on music taste as everyone here, apparently. I'm a bit more fussy. But would I prefer to listen to them over Primordial Swarm? probably about the same to be honest um like i said neither of them are awful they both do things well and they do it their way it's just not my way so yeah, i'll put them in b as well I'm not really caring which one goes first because they're both b tier which is still pretty good next we'll go for lewis um he is a solo artist as i said before um, and he doesn't really have a set genre uh, he can be a bit more pop a bit more rap at times he's not like a full-on rapper though um, and he does some comedy songs as well, which is, I think, what we all need, especially in this time. I've known him since primary school, so I've known him a real long time. We don't talk as much as we used to, but we still chat every now and again. And what impresses me the most is that he does this all himself. It is just all his work, his videos, his music, his singing. I really admire that. And whilst, again, it's not all my kind of thing, like I say, he's so varied in what he does. There are a couple songs that I play every now and again, you know, a lot more than I do for these two. So he's either at the top of B or the bottom of A. Bottom of A, because Cosmonauts are going to get lonely otherwise. Then Matter of Mind, as I said before, I know the bassist. Um, this band is one that I didn't actually know as much about before doing this video. I had to listen to a few of their songs. And I didn't know, but I think they've made it pretty big. 
they've got a fair few uh, subscribers on YouTube and views. And on top of that, they, there was one video where they were in Germany. So I don't know if they're on tour or something, but that's pretty cool. As for the music, it's a lot more rock, which is definitely more my thing. Just, I think the thing I'm fussiest on the most is vocals. Um, I didn't really like the vocals too much, but they weren't, weren't as cheesy as, you know, indie vocals are. So do they earn S? Maybe. Um, like I say, I'm really fussy on vocals. So I'm going to put them in the top of A tier. I think that's fair. And finally, I think no surprises here. Destroy Planets going top of my list. Like I say, I can be really fussy on vocals, and I think Tanya delivers on both sides of that. She can sing and she can scream, and I like a bit of balance. I don't like it to be all one or all the other. On top of that, I'm a big fan of their material. I'll leave a link to their song Save Yourself down below. That's probably my favourite one of theirs. Uh, it's a really well shot video as well. I don't know who did that, but um, yeah, it's really good. And on top of that, I know I'm not really marking them on this, but Tanya was great to collaborate with. She was really easy to work with. She delivered on her parts. It was all just really good. Really happy to work with them. Would work with them again. Same with, well, literally anyone on this list if they offered and if they wanted me to work with them, you know, because I think these guys are all really good. And they're all from my local area too, which makes me pretty proud to be where I'm from. So yeah, thank you to all these bands for releasing amazing music. And thank you to all of you guys for watching as well. Of course, as I said, any suggestions, leave those down in the comments and do check these channels out. They've all got really different, but really awesome music. So do check them out. They're awesome. So if you do find any new music because of this video, I'm happy to have helped. You can show your appreciation by leaving a like and a comment, and of course, subscribing with those notifications on so you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.